Welcome back to the channel everyone, Nemesis here, and in this video I want to showcase this Royal Giant deck that I've been kind of messing around with. Um, so now that the balance changes are out, I've been kind of messing around with this RG deck, kind of seeing what works, and so far this version that I'm playing with is pretty good. Um, it has the Giant Skeleton in it obviously because with the 6% HP buff it got it is actually super strong now. And by the way that Fireball Zap on his end was super bad. Um, I don't really know what he was getting at, or yeah, getting with that, so, um, I think he's going to, uh, basically, might lose his tower here, because I'm going to build a really strong RG Giant Skeleton push, um, and this is perfect, bro, this is actually perfect, dude, I think, yeah, he just loses his tower already, um, <laughs> yeah, that Fireball Zap was not the play, but, kind of back to what I was saying, is that, like, in general, this deck is super nice, and, um, you know, I have the Zappies in here because just for things like that, like literally like that, this guy had Infernal Dragon, um, because I have two big tanks with that being the, you know, the Royal Giant plus the Giant Skeleton. So if you don't have Zappies, if you have like Mother Witch instead, it's going to be really difficult to break through, um, Infernal Dragon decks and stuff like that. So I think Zappies are just overall the better option too. And kind of just like resetting other things like Ram Riders, Battle Rams, and stuff like that. Just pretty solid choice, honestly. Um, and I still have the Little Prince in here because the Little Prince is still like... It's a pretty solid card still. Even though it got nerfed pretty heavily, it's still really nice with um, the 3 Elixir cost. And just having that knockback ability with the, um, you know, the Guardian. So it's really nice still. He's going for Inferno Dragon again. I'm just going to go for some Zappies. And, um, yeah, so, um, this basically is already game. Not going to lie to you. He's going for a Fireball. Um, I'm, honestly, I'm totally fine with that because now I could just, like, play Little Prince on defense and he can't kill it anymore. So, right here, I could just go for a Fireball on top of the Flying Machine and, um, pretty much have a good defense. He's going for Barbarians in the right-hand lane. Totally fine here. I could just go for a giant skeleton and just, you know, clean everything up. Just basically block that entire lane right there. And I should be good to go. I'm going to go for an RG right here. He's going for another hound in the back. So I think right here I could just, like, go for some zappies in the back. He's going for an inferno dragon. Totally fine. <clears throat> He's only got, you know, 25 seconds left on the clock to um, take my tower. He's going for a fireball. I'm going to protect my little prince for, you know, the three card cycle. And I'm going to go for a barbarian barrel plus some more zappies. And, alright, he's going for a Balloon, I could just go for a Fireball, and that should basically be game. Um, I played it really well, but he also played really horrendously in Single Elixir with that Fireball Zap on my Little Prince in the beginning, but, yeah, let's go out and jump for the next game. Here's the next match, and, um, let's see here, so, he's going for a Princess. <laughs> okay, not gonna lie, I meant to, like, play a Fisherman right there, <laughs> so, um... A little shaky start but it's totally fine i also want to mention that like even though this rg deck is really good i still want to play test with like other versions and stuff like that like maybe like an rg guards deck because i know back in the day in like 2019 era um rg guards was actually a pretty solid deck so maybe rg guards can make a comeback <laughs> um just kind of like out of uh, nostalgia factor maybe but it can also be good like i said so um yeah as of now, though, this deck is pretty nice, dude. I'm not going to lie. This deck is crushing it. So I'm going to go for an Electric Spirit right here. I'm going to go for a Little Prince. And um, let me see here. So honestly, though, I'm playing against Logbait. And if this guy has Inferno Tower, that's basically the only card that will, you know, destroy this deck, I would say, is like um, an Inferno Tower. This guy has Bomb Tower, though. Okay, so that's actually really good for me. I'm back to having matchup again. <laughs> so... Um, yeah, I'll definitely take that. If I formulate really good, you know, Giant Skeleton plus RG combos, it's going to be extremely hard for this guy to defend it. So, just because of, like, the uh, mass amount of HP the Giant Skeleton has now, just kind of playing it in front. Um, it'll take care of things like, you know, the Knight, um, any Goblin Gangs and stuff like that, and just be a big distraction for my RG. So, like, it's going to be really nice. Um, let me see. So, I have a Fisherman coming down the lane. For some reason, this guy has so many spectators, too. I don't really understand that. This guy has seven spectators, bro. It's like the second day of the season or something like that. Second or, or yeah, like third day of the season. Um, Let's see here. I'm going to go for an RG in the back. Just kind of formulate a big push. 
because in this matchup you want to like RG the back and stuff like that. Alright, so right here, I could just go for a little prince right here. And I gotta make sure I take care of that princess. I don't want it like being a nuisance to my push. I'm gonna go for a giant skeleton in the front because it's a good play. And um, okay, that's really good fireball value. I'm not gonna lie to you. That's like really good fireball value. And just like that, my RG should make a shot on the tower. It gets two shots. Three shots, bro. Oh my gosh, that's like so much damage. And my little prince is right there. I'm going to go for a Fisherman plus an Electric Spirit. I'm going to go for a Barbarian Barrel because it's off to the right-hand side. And um, let's see here. So I think right here, I could just go for a little Prince up high just to snipe that Princess. And I'm going to go ahead and take the Fireball um, against the Bomb Tower and the Tower. And I'm going to go ahead and BM this guy in front of his entire crew. <laughs> it's a little toxic, not going to lie, but um, it's pretty funny. So let's go for the next game. Here's the next match against DCI Jonathan. He's kicking things off with an Ice Spirit, plus a Goblin Barrel, so I could just go for my Barbarian Barrel, and that's a pretty solid start for me. So, um, let's see here. I think this is another Log Bait deck, so... Okay, yeah, he's going for a Goblin Gate in the back. I could just go for some Zappies in the back, <clears throat> and kind of see what he wants to do here. Um, and yeah, he's going for a Knight in the back. I could just same lane Little Prince, and kind of get ready for an RG in the back. So, um, yeah... He's going for a rocket, wow. I think right here I can just go for an RG. I'm not gonna lie to you though, you know, he can get away with rockets like that because if he has the Inferno Tower version, it's really hard for me to break through. So him playing rockets really aggressively, or yeah, really aggressively like that, isn't a bad play out of him. Or, oh my gosh, I can't even speak. But um, it isn't a bad play for him. <laughs> so um, yeah, right here, I can just, uh, oh, oh. okay. I was kind of hoping like he would play a Goblin Gang, but yeah, there's the Inferno Tower, unfortunately. I'm going to go for a Little Prince right here. Uh, let me see. Maybe I can outplay this guy right here because he doesn't have Inferno Tower anymore in his hand, so I could just go for an RG and maybe get a ton of damage. He has to play a Goblin Gang here, though, right? Like, he has to. There's a Goblin Gang. I'm definitely going to pop the ability. That's what I was waiting for earlier, but he played the Inferno Tower instead, so uh, let me see here. I'm getting a ton of damage, and um, oh my gosh, like this is a phenomenal start, not going to lie to you. Um, really, really good start. This might just secure the match if I play really good from here on out. I'm going to go for a giant skeleton. I'm going to go for a barbarian. Dude, no, 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 no. Oh my gosh. Okay, I was just saying like if I play good from here on out, and I'm already making a big mistake. So, um... Yeah, I don't really know much, man. <laughs> I'm going to go for a little prince right here in the middle. Okay, I can't clip that. I'm just going to go for an RG in the back right here. And kind of see if I can formulate a really big push. So, yeah. Um, he's going for a knight in the back. I could just go for... Not in the back, but in the front. I'm going to go for my giant skeleton. I'm going to go for a barbarian barrel right there for the goblin barrel. I'm going to go for a fisherman just to like pull one of these princesses. Because I don't want them to stack. Um... Okay, that's a little annoying. Uh, maybe I could go for another RG, though, and maybe have, like, some good distraction on the map. I definitely had to fireball that Inferno Tower, though, because it will kill my RG again. So, um, yeah, I'm definitely just going to take care of that right now. And I should actually, uh, yeah, like, this is perfect. So, I actually put that really phenomenally, or phenomenally. Man, I am messing up my commentary this match, bro. <laughs> um, but, you know, it is what it is. I took those dubs very nicely, so that's going to be the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll do more next time.